Crypto exchanges can be really useful in buying and trading different cryptocurrencies, only they can be really confusing. One of the likes is KuCoin and in this video I'll walk you through all the beginner setups step by step. What's up, my name is Caroline and this is Wealth in Progress where you'll learn how to make passive income with cryptocurrencies. Now this video is a KuCoin beginner tutorial where I'll walk you through all the beginner steps that you need to know in order to set up an, an account on the exchange and in order to buy and, and trade some crypto. I've already got a beginner tutorial on Binance so if you prefer to use that exchange I'll have a link on top of my head and the des description so be sure to check that out as well. Now, one more thing before we dive in, make sure to subscribe to my newsletter, that's the first link in the description, because I'll soon be coming out with a membership site with a lot of deep dive analysis, trades, signals, tricks, tips and tricks. So be sure to subscribe to the newsletter so that you'll be the first to be notified when the membership comes out. Okay, let's dive in. All right, so we're now on KuCoin and the first thing you need to do is you need to sign up and create a new account. So you can choose between phone or email, I'll choose email for this one. Okay, now once you've signed up, this is the page that you get. Now, don't get too confused, I know there's a lot going on on this website, I'll just stick to the basics, there are a lot of things that you probably won't need as a beginner, or that I don't even need, and I've been in crypto for a while. So we'll just stick to the basics, and uh, the rest of it you can basically forget for the moment. Now you can close the first window and then you get to this home page. So this is the home page and what we'll look at today is first of all how to buy crypto, how to trade it and where your wallet is. All right, now to buy crypto, you need to go to the top left, hover over buy crypto and then click on credit debit card. Now that will also show you a bunch of other options. So you can choose between a debit credit card, um, SEPA depending on where you live probably. So that's a bank transfer, Apple Pay or Google Pay. Now I've just recently tried to deposit some money onto KuCoin or basically to buy some crypto on KuCoin with that method. And what I've noticed is with all of those payment methods, you'll need to go through one of those payment channels. I use Simplex, so you need to create an account with Simplex. But don't worry about it, it will walk you through all of that step by step. So as soon as you finished here, it will tell you, uh, you will receive an email and you'll need to finish the verification process with Simplex. It's pretty straightforward, so don't get too confused about that. So in any case, let's say I want to buy some with Visa or MasterCard and then you can choose the currency here. So Swiss franc is automatically chosen for me. And then you can choose the amount. You see there is a minimum amount and the maximum amount. So for instance, let's say I wanted to buy 100 Swiss francs worth of BTC or you can choose the currency on the right here. So let's say I want BTC, that's fine. And then you see also on the right it adapts, it tells you the best offer, so you can just go with that, that's totally fine. And that just tells you that you'll receive the most if you go with that payment channel. Then down here you have the information, so you see how much you need to pay, how much you'll receive. And then once that's all fine, you can click on confirm. Now again, here we have all the overview, you'll also get a processing fee that's always uh, the same on all the exchanges with debit or credit card. And then once that's all fine for you, you can, you can click on checkout and then it will uh, lend you, it will send you probably over to that um, other, uh, what was it, that other payment channel, at least that was the case for Simplex. Then just go through that, set up an account and then you can buy it this way. Once you've bought some crypto, you'll find them in your wallet. So let's look at that now. To go there, you need to go to the top right under assets and then either click on overview or on one of the other accounts. We'll do overview for now just to have a look at what's going on here. You can hide your holdings with this eye here. You can click on that and then you see it's hidden or you can reveal it. So that's useful if you're in a public space somewhere where you don't want everyone to see your holdings. Now, one thing that's different from Binance is that it has several accounts in your wallet. So you have the main account and then you have a trading account and the other two you won't need as a beginner. So just focus on those two. And that's a bit interesting, so you just need to get the concept, then it's pretty simple, but you just need to understand it. So what happens is if you buy some crypto with a debit credit card or another method, then it will end up in your main account. And the same, same happens if you send some over, or if you want to send some coins from your uh, KuCoin account to another wallet, that happens on the main account. 
now if you want to trade crypto so for instance if you for instance let's say you bought BTC and now you want Ethereum instead you first need to transfer it into your trading account all right so let's quickly look at that we'll look at the main account first you can click on that now I don't have any holdings in here but if I had it would show up in here and what you can do so for instance let's say you want to trade now in that case you need to click on transfer and then you see it's automatically selected you need to go from main account to trading account then you select the coin and the amount and click confirm and then it goes over to the trading account very straightforward now you can do the same in the reverse order if you want to send some coins out for instance then you would do the same from the trading account to the main account so you can see on top you have the overview here so we're in the main account now we can just click on trading account to get to the other one and then we could do the same so you can see here we have uh, only two options one is trade and one is transfer whereas in the main account we also have the options to deposit and withdraw all right now what we're gonna look at next is how to trade crypto so that's what I've mentioned earlier you need to transfer with this button you need to transfer your holdings from the main account to the trading account so that they're in here and then once they're in there you you're ready to trade in order to do that you need to click on the top uh, hover over trade and then click on spot trading so again this might look a bit confusing if you're trading for the first time or if you're into crypto or an exchange for the first time but i'll quickly walk you through the basics it's really not that difficult once you know what's going on so first of all on the top left you have the trading pair so you can click on that and then you can choose what you want to trade so for instance let's say i want to trade btc and ethereum and then you can actually go to the left and then click the first part of the pair if you find it otherwise click put it in the search bar so I clicked on BTC and now you see uh, ETH BTC so that's the trading pair that I want so we'll click on that and now you have the chart so that's basically the candlesticks that tells you what's been going on I have it on the hourly now you could change that to the daily or to any other time frame that you like and then it also has the volume at automatically selected plus a few moving averages so so that's just the basics that is already pre-selected if you'd like to add some other indicators you can click on this button this icon here and then just choose the indicator that you like I also I particularly like to use the Bollinger Bands so I usually have them included as well however I don't really like the design in KuCoin so I prefer to do that on Binance or TradingView but you can add it if you want now on the right you have the order book so you don't really need that but it's just nice to know so you can see these are the sell orders and these are the buy orders now right now it tells me to set a trading password so we'll quickly do that first because otherwise we can't trade all right now first of all you need to get an email verification so you need to cl click send code and then paste that code in here okay that's fine so now you can just enter your own six digit code that you would like to have as your trading password you'll need to enter that every time you want to make a trade so be sure that is something that you can remember okay wonderful so we've set that now we can go back to the trading site and now you can see it already asked me to input my six digit trading password so we'll do that now okay and now I have the option to trade so we'll go back to my BTC ETH pair okay so what I wanted to say is um, the order book is relevant in terms of limit orders so if you wanted to, for instance let's say I wanted to buy ETH with BTC then I need to enter the BTC price and if I want to buy some it's best to look at the last um, sell price so actually I can just click on that and then you can see it automatically takes that price and that uh, has a better chance of actually going through if I chose a price that already someone has put in that wants to sell at this price then I can choose how much I want to buy depending on how many BTC I have so for instance let's say I wanted to buy one ETH and then you would simply have to click on buy ETH now right now I don't have any holdings so that won't work now the same goes the other way way around so if I want to sell some uh, some ETH and want to get BTC instead I can take I can simply click on the last buy order here I can click on that and then it automatically takes it here and again I can do the same thing now the thing with limit orders is sometimes they won't go through even if you choose that because it moves very quickly as you can see the order book is is always moving 
So if you just want to make a quick trade, it's actually better to do market. So you can choose that here. And then just choose, chooses the best market price. And that just guarantees that the trade, trade will actually go through once you do it. So you need to calculate how much BTC your ETH that you want to buy is worth. And then you enter that in here and click on buy. Once you've placed an order, you'll find that under open orders as long as it's open. And then under order history or trade history once the trade has gone through. So that's essentially everything you need to know for the trading platform on these exchanges. That's all I ever use. I don't do any leverage trading or any futures or anything more complicated. And I highly advise not to do that as a beginner. Now, one more thing, if we go back to the home page, what I've mentioned for Binance as well for the exchange are the earning options. So you can earn passive income through staking different coins and you ha theoretically have this option on KuCoin as well. And that's under finance. So if you simply click on, so, so again, you have a couple of drop downs if you have our finance. And while you can do that, I don't really recommend it because the rewards are pretty low. I've tried it on both exchanges and the rewards really don't, uh, can't keep up with the ones on Binance. So if you want to have a very simple staking options and earn some extra income on your coins, I have a couple of videos on that to do that on Binance. I'll leave them on top of my head and in the description. So be sure to check them out as well if you're interested. All right, now that sums up this KuCoin beginner tutorial. This has been the simple step-by-step -step guide for all the beginner things that you'll probably need. If you need anything else or if you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my newsletter to be the first to be notified when my membership site comes out. If you like this video, hit the like button down below, share with your friends and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.